Hello friends, it's Monday the 9th of August 2021. Welcome back to another quick gardening tour. Today's my anniversary. My wife and I have been married for seven years. Whew. Pretty exciting stuff. I love my wife. Happy anniversary, Bridget. Let's, uh, let's start outside the garden. The peach tree turned out all right. I didn't really lose more branches, so I tied it up well and I picked off a whole bunch of young peaches. Left a few on like this that are mature. We've come out and just snacked on from time to time. I just boiled and peeled and uh, sliced two giant buckets worth of peaches. So now I get to make some preserves or pies or whatever else. So not bad. This gets pruned probably at the end of this month. And the Snappy Mac, although it seems so thin, does have apples on it. And for the first year, you know what? I'm happy that there was anything. They're just so pretty. We'll see what they look like in September. Okay. Check out the garden. Look at how overgrown it is. As you can see, one of the crookneck squash is, is growing outside the garden. And at this time of the year, I think that looks super, super cool. Here's where we started. I absolutely love these Mexican sunflowers. They are like seven feet tall, this whole hedge, right? And I see monarch butterflies out here all the time. So this like into my kitchen window. This is the view, like you're the kitchen. I look out and see morning glory, sunflowers, these Mexican sunflowers. It's pretty slick. Let's start over here outside since we're still here. Raspberries will be here soon. Everything is pollinated. Now they're just ripening. Another couple of weeks and then I'm going to be loaded. Behold the beans. It's bean season. Yay! Isn't this cool? I love this tangled net. Just complete mess of beanstalk right and hey look what's at the bottom well if that's not a tendril i don't know what it ends here and starts way the heck back there it's it's like 15 16 feet long at this point right because these are 12 foot beds 12 foot beds and then that's at least two foot over there and so foot 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 13 17 feet i don't know but the crooknecks are coming along nicely, and I think I have uh, a sweet pumpkin too, but we'll get to that. So I didn't pull out the peas, and I didn't succession plant, and the window for that has passed. Wah, 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 shame on me. But so life goes, especially when you have a young child in the house. Behold the herbs. Behold the Jerusalem artichokes. I don't know, seven and a half, eight feet tall. I thought I planted more mammoth sunflowers, but apparently I didn't. That one up there for sure is a mammoth, as is this one, just one head. And I swore that was a mammoth, and that was a mammoth, but there's no way. There's multiple heads on each of these. They're beautiful, but I don't know what kind of sunflower they are. Asparagus and strawberry is lush, lush, lush. I do have to pick out the mint that is overgrown at the end. Perhaps the theme of the day is that I've kind of been negligent out in the garden. Again, the peas that I just need to rip out. These are the zinnias that I did succession plant. So those will come in, you know, in another couple of weeks and be lovely. The early potatoes are almost ready to be pulled. I do have some weeds growing in there, but I also have sweet pumpkin because you know, those take over the walkway, which is great. And of course, next door, we've got all sorts of tomatoes. Oh, and it looks like the wind had knocked them off of their trellis. Whoop, but you know, things to be picked left and right really got to get out there it looks like i left that one go for too long but they're i mean they're delectable and it certainly is satisfying to just snap one off and oh look at that wonky let's eat it mmm hello hello so i can't even really do anything in this space other than frame it to look pretty the ground cherries are a lost cause because something is eating them and the crook neck is growing all over it. Obviously, I didn't succession plant anything here. I love my just fancy sunflowers. They get pollinators all the time. Um, I'm glad I staked these, by the way. No idea what kind of sunflower that is. Maybe I can try to get around the other end. Hmm. Pray for me. While we're going around... Here's an example of one of these uh, sweet pumpkins. You know, I should really put that on a stand. Hold on. 
a couple years back, my mom bought me these squash stands. And I think the nicest thing, they just steak on in and then your squash grows on this. So it uh, doesn't get as flat and mildewy -y on the ground touching side. So let's stick this in. Ta -da! I think last time I said uh, the squash bug just took over this and there was nothing I could do. I mean, look at them. They're having like a gross squash bug orgy on this. But I think it's too much plant for them to tackle. So like obviously they've killed the origin of this uh, pumpkin. But you know, it roots as it goes along. And down here it's doing fine. And they're not getting any of the squash or whatever over here. So we wanted to see the sunflowers. And there are the sunflowers. I mean, they just look like big sunflowers. They're not mammoths, but they're big sunflowers. So that's cool. I do have some flat leaf squa uh, cabbage that I should pick and eat. Otherwise, maybe note to self, uh, kind of went overboard with the squash growing in this area and letting it go crazy. Although these leaves, I think are pretty fantastic. I guess that's it. I, this year I'm a sunflower gardener <laughs> and it's cool. So plenty of things uh, now through the end of the growing season. I love this nice rich garden. It's been very humid, very wet here lately. We had some localized flooding, otherwise we're fine. Hope things are going well in your garden. Let me know if you liked it, you know what to do. And uh, wish my wife a happy anniversary, why don't you? Take care, happy growing, bye.